How dare you? Hi. As most of you will know, that have been following my channel, I tend to like flying scale, whether it be helicopters or fixed wing, as we call them, aircraft. But a couple of weeks ago, those of you that followed me, or a few weeks ago now, uh, you will remember a video that I did of two of my scale helicopters. The MD500, both in the 600 size and the 500, which was the AH-6 attack helicopter. Today, we're gonna to be looking at this again. This is my 600 size 500 helicopter. 600, 500 size. No, 600 size 500, get it right in a minute. I've been having issues with this since I've had the aircraft and I'm not too sure what it is that's causing it. It flies, but there are points when I'm flying it where it'll get a wobble. And I'm not talking a tail wag, I'm talking it'll wobble from like side to side. I've had various suggestions of what it could be. It could be head speed. Uh, I've tried three different head speeds and it still doesn't on all three. It could be too much pitch. Um, it could be the gain. Uh, it could be various things. And today's video is me trying to figure out how on earth I can get this to stop wobbling. Welcome to RC Helicheck UK. go let's test fly it first as it is without anything done to it um, let's just see if it still does it I've made no modifications to it this is how it is since I've had it okay I've already pre armed the lightning box in the front transmit is already on uh, those of you that are waiting for the the canopy refurb on the Spectre 700 uh, I will be following up with that in a couple of days time. Uh, I had some issues with the canopy with some paint uh, and basically I had to scrub it. Right, transmitter's on. I'm not going to bother putting the lights on. I'm just going to plug it in and arm it and we'll go out to the uh, test circle as I call it. Okay, all armed up there. Like I say, I'm not even going to bother plugging in the lights. Just going to fly it as it is. <coughs> right. Let's uh, let's go and have a look. I hope you can hear me, guys. I've not got my external mic on. Um, purely and simply because I've got my Capulator 4000 on that I'm doing this with. Uh, and uh, I can't fit the adapter at the back while it's on my cap. So... Right, this is the pitch that I'm getting. I don't know if you can see that, but it ain't that much. It's probably about eight degrees of pitch uh, on the positive. So let's try that first. I've got the blades tightened up as I would normally have them. <coughs> and I've forgotten how heavy this helicopter was. So, which way is the wind blowing? It's calmed down a bit to be fair. It was blowing a hooli earlier on, um, but as the afternoons progressed, it seems to have calmed down a bit. Thank God, it's been uh, pretty bad yesterday. A flat calm, couldn't come up here yesterday, and it was flat calm. Um, today, when I want to do some testing, it's been windy, but it's calmed down a bit now. So let's give it a shot. <coughs> I've just realised I've got the wrong glasses on. Hang on a second, I need to go and change my glasses. Right, let's try again. Also forgot to put the old laser beam shades on as well. The sun's come out, although the sun's going to be behind me. When I test that, look at that. How cool does that helicopter look? 
all nice and shiny. Right. Now you've seen the pitch, the pitch, sorry, as it was. And I'm gonna basically to start off with, I've got it at my normal speed, which is around about 1400, sorry, yeah, 1400 RPM. So we'll hover it at that because it can hover at 1400 and then we'll try and see what it does like that and then we'll increase the head speed and go to the higher head speeds to see if that makes a difference. Negative pitch held in. So we're only going to hover it guys. I'm not going to do no flying around. Right, here we go. Keep it away from that net, move back a little bit. Uh, for some reason that seems all right. How bizarre. I'm beginning to wonder now whether it's something to do with the blade tension. With the tightening up the blade. I've tightened up the blades. And it doesn't seem to be doing now, doing it now. Okay. That's at 1400 RPM. Right, hold on then. Let's go up one, uh, let's go up to idle up one, which is 1500 RPM. That's bizarre. I'm wondering whether it was a wind issue. Because the last time I flew this, it was actually quite windy. And I'm wondering whether the wind was having an effect on it, but I mean that don't seem to be that bad. It seems to not. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Helicopters, uh, you gotta love them, or well, you gotta hate them, one or the other. Okay, we'll go up to. I'd look to. I'd look to. He's sixteen hundred RPM. This is the highest RPM. That's me wobbling that about. I'm trying to get... Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Tell you what, let's wait for it to spool down. Let's take it out on the strip and actually fly it. See what that does. That's really bizarre. Last time I flew this, it was wobbling all over the place. Like I say, it was like doing this. Like it seemed to be every time I increased pitch or decreased pitch, it was doing it. Not like a tail wag that you would normally get like on a low head speed. It was just wobbling about. But for some reason, it ain't doing it anymore. Let's go and give it a quick fly. I'm going to fly it on the lowest head speed. 
and see if uh, if see if that makes a difference. Um, 1400 RPM. Some people might cringe at that, but I don't see any reason why it should shouldn't be able to cope with it. Let's go and have a look. Oh, hope you can hear me, guys. I'll probably edit this bit out while I'm walking across here when I uh, edit my videos. I wouldn't come too close to me, Mr. Flutterboy. You might end up being mincing me. Right. Let's take it out in the open a bit. Now, the wind's still blowing. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic. I have got my... Uh, more media mod on with the uh, other mic right let's try it let's actually give it a fly i'll try and keep it close in i've got to watch the battery time because obviously i've just been hovering it mid stick zero pitch makes me look a fool now That's at idle up well, that's at normal head speed, 1400. That's at 1400 RPM. Nothing at all, absolutely nothing at all. Boing. Boing, boing, baggies, baggies. I don't get that. I really do not understand. I've changed nothing. I have literally changed nothing on the helicopter. The only thing I can say that it may be is that I've tightened up the head. Well, not tightened up the head, but I've tightened up the main rotor blades. I wonder if I tightened them up. Because I know normally if you have them quite loose, you get a bit of lag with the leading edge of the blade that goes into wind. But centrifugal force, in theory, should, should straighten them out. I'm wondering whether I had them loose and it wasn't straightening them out enough. And that's what was causing the vibration. The only other thing that I've done differently, that it could be, but I wouldn't have thought so, is I've not plugged in the lights. The lights work through the Beast X. I've not got a separate receiver on this. I've got a satellite receiver connected to the Beast X. And then the lights are connected into Auxiliary 2. I wouldn't have thought of turning the lights on, turning the nab lights on would cause some kind of interference. What do you reckon, guys? You'll have to let me know in the comments if people like yourselves have had the same kind of issue. Let's get it back on the table. God, this helicopter's heavy. It's only a 600 size helicopter, but with a battery and it weighs about six kilos. Whew. That's bugged me now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy about it because I haven't got the issue that I had with it which was the whole point of this video. But that really has bugged me. It ain't doing it, and I don't know why. Hmm. Bizarre. Okay. Let's have a, let's have a, let's charge the battery up. Get the battery charged up, and we'll go and have another go. Um, it may have just been the wind. We'll get the battery charged up, and we'll try it in the other two flight modes and see what happens. See you in a bit, guys. Right, let's give it another go, guys. Um, I'm not sure what uh, what's going on here. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, if it stopped doing it, great. But, I don't get what it is that's causing it, or well, what was causing it. I'm wondering if it was just the wind. Because <coughs> it was quite strong winds that I was flying it in before. I wonder if it was just the wind. Right. Posit uh, negative pitch, right, stick fully down. Seven degrees negative pitch. Mid stick, practically spot on. Mid stick, 0 0.05. And then full, positive, I'm running seven degrees. So I've got seven degrees negative, seven degrees of positive pitch on the blades. Any of you scale boys out there that fly, well, scale, um, let me know what your <coughs> what your pitches are on uh, on your helicopters if you've got one, especially especially if you've got one of these Roban 600s, because um, like like I said before, this is a Roban this is a Roban fuselage with a T Rex. 550 set of mechanics in it um, I did kind of think to start off with that it might have been all this scale stuff that I put on all the lights and whatnot actually I'll tell you what I'm gonna do let's plug in the lights let's see if it was the lights that was causing it right they're now connected let's turn them on Right, they're working. I'll start with them off, and then I'll, uh, if it's still not doing it, which I'm kind of hoping it isn't, <coughs> if it's, am I recording, or am I talking to myself? Yeah, I am recording. <laughs> Egypt. Uh, yeah. I'll fly it again at normal head speed and see if it's still doing it or if it's stopped doing it and then I'll turn the lights on see if I get that wobble with the lights on if I do then it's the lights that's causing it but I can't get why it's quite a powerful system uh, it's like 5 volts 6 volts something like that um, can't see it being that, but you never know. Right, lights are off. Normal head speed. Again. <coughs> Bugger. Hang on a minute, guys. I forgot my uh, laser beam protectors. Right. <coughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Normal mode. 1400 RPM. Lights off. Okay, let's give it a shot. The wind's picked up. It's got a bit more gusty since I've uh, gone back to pick up my bloody glasses. Right. Negative pitch, or zero pitch I should say. What a cracking sky. Shame about the wind. Right, let's see what this does. Man, it's windy. Hope you can still hear me okay, guys. Yeah, it's wobbling a bit there. There, there you go. Look at that. Can you see that? Not so predominant at the minute. It seems to me when the gust of wind hits it, that's what makes it wobble. Oh. There you go, see it? Oh. Oh. 
seems to come and go. I mean, the wind's dropped again. It's still blowing, but it's not gushing as it was. It seems to me every time a gust of wind hits it, it makes it wobble. There, look, look at that. Right, let's uh, let's go to idle look one. Try it at a higher head speed. See if it aggravates it. Oh, look at that. See it? Look at it. That is, that is. Can you see it? See it wobbling? Right, hold on. Go idle up one, uh, idle up two. Highest head speed. Now the way that the helicopter is positioned at the moment is actually side on to the wind. But that 1600 RPM, it didn't seem to be so bad. Quite a gust there. That's not wobbling like it was just a minute ago. Still got a bit of a wobble on, but it seems to be coping. I reckon it's the wind that's doing it. On the lower head speed, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's quite a gust there. That's got to be about 15, 18 mile an hour. And on the highest RPM, it seems to be coping with it quite well. Just the usual up and down pitch movement that you need to put in with the, with the wind. But the wobble stop. I reckon it's the wind. It seems to me on the lower head speeds at like 1400 and 1600 RPM, any gust of wind causes the helicopter to shake. But at the highest head speed here, 1600 RPM, seems to cope with it quite well. I mean, even with the ground effect, that's quite stable. What do you reckon, guys? Let's try the theory with the light. I ain't got that much time left because the uh, time has just gone on. Right, that's the lights on. Now, it's still sitting there quite stable, even with the lights on. So the theory about the lights causing the issue isn't the case. I initially think it's head speed. Right, my beef has gone off. Let's land it. That is a bizarre one, that. It'll certainly explain why it was doing it before. Because if you remember, when I first started the video, I was saying that it, it was quite a windy day when I flew it and it was wobbling. And here we are again on quite a windy day. And on the lower head speeds, it's wobbling again. Got the old death wobble. So it seems 1400 and 1500 RPM. Blades are at 90 degrees, aren't there? There's no lag in the blades. No, they're fine. Yeah, it seems to me that it's it's to do with the head speed by the looks of it. Is that pit special? Sounds like it. Um, yeah, I think it's the head speed because 
on the lower head speeds at 1400 and 1500 rpm it was it was wobbling a little bit at 1400 rpm but then the wind wasn't blowing that much when i went up to 1500 rpm the wind started gusting a little bit more and you could even hear it in the motor it was sort of like wobbling big time that is a bit special um but then going up to 1600 rpm with the same wind speed rock steady it's got to be a head speed issue come on all you scar heli pilots out there if you've ex experienced anything like this yourselves let me know if that's what you think it is or whether it could be something else the blades are all balanced the tracking is perfect the helicopter is really heavy oh yeah blades are all tracked properly they're all balanced um there's definitely definitely no issues with the head there's no bent shaft or anything like that you get the normal oscillation and vibration when you spool it up but once it gets up to speed it stops tail rotor is not blowing out it is literally it seems to me in strong wind conditions and lower head speeds it wobbles i mean is it a gain thing is it the cyclic gain needs adjusting all right let me know what you think guys in the comments so there you have it guys you just got to experience the death wobble uh judging by what we've just seen it looks like it's being caused by the wind um does that mean i'm just going to need to fly at the highest head speed all the time i would like to not be able to have to fly it like that all the time because i can fly this like i say at 1400 rpm when there's no wind by the looks of it i think it's 16 rp 1600 rpm with this helicopter being as heavy as it is it's going to go nuclear i don't really want it to travel like really really quick across the sky but let me know what you think guys put down in the comments any of you guys that have experienced this before whether it comes to flying scale helicopters um thanks for watching all the same do like uh, and subscribe to the channel for more content similar to this we'll be coming back to this helicopter i think there's going to be other things that we're going to need to be looking at if it isn't that but thanks again for watching guys like i say take care of yourselves and i'll see you very soon see you later